is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with a new top 5 video and today we are taking a look at top 5 taming methods you guys should all utilize. So we're kicking it off from the worst to the best and believe me when I say this, number 5 is definitely the worst. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's get into the list. Now first off you are obviously going to want something that can trank, whether that be a long neck rifle with trank darts, shocking trank darts or a crossbow with trank arrows. Entirely up to you. The fifth method, the worst method that we will be showcasing to you is this one right here. And that is chasing after the dinos. So when you shoot a, a dino or, okay, that's a horrible example. When you first shoot a dinosaur, if it's, an, it's, if it's a passive one or it's an aggressive one, well, it, it's entirely what happens. Once you get its torpor up high enough, it will start running away from you. This is the moment where you chase after the said dinosaur. Now, this obviously isn't very effective because the hitboxes in Ark are very funky sometimes when it comes to particular dinosaurs. So you can constantly miss your shots as well as just getting outran by the creature, especially when it comes to like die bears, gallimimuses, you know, raptors, anything like that. Anything fast and fleety that you're unable to catch up to. So yeah, it's not really the greatest taming method to use, but it is one way to go about doing so. If you lack the resources to do the other taming methods that we'll showcase to you on this list. However, I would definitely use this taming method as a last resort as it can be rather annoying and cumbersome to try and chase after a particular dino that you're trying to knock out. And it can easily just turn around and bite you in the butt and try to kill you again. Once it's torpor deep, uh, depletes a little bit, and it'll then become aggressive again towards you and you should probably run for your life at that stage. Now, the fourth method on this list is the use of a torpor-inducing dinosaur, or creature, or whatever the heck you want to call them. So, some creatures on Ark obviously deal torpor damage when you attack with them. The Equus is one of those dinosaurs. Now, it obviously isn't limited to just the Equus. You also have the Scorpion available to you, as well as the Paki, and there is also one more, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. So, but the Equus is definitely the best dinosaur to use in terms of knocking out other creatures, in terms of using a dinosaur. So, for example, we've got this trike over here, and he's very aggressive. So, we're going to knock him out. Now, pretty much, they can see there they've got the buck attack. Now, this does have the ability to knock out a creature. You do have to be a little bit careful, though, with some of the torpor-inducing creatures, because they can potentially kill the target. But you see already, this trike is fleeing from us. However, because we have our own mount, it is easy to catch up to him, and boom, bada, boom. Just like that, he's out like a light. If you are starting on Ragnarok as your first map and you spawn in the Highlands, I would definitely recommend getting yourselves an Equus. There are plenty of carrots on the farm located up there, and you can tame up a high-level Equus and just go around taming everything. You know, you can easily tame up trikes, even Carnos, even Raptors, even Allosauruses. You might be pushing it if you don't have a high-level one and you're, it's a pack of three Allosauruses, but solo Allosauruses are definitely tameable. You can see here this Kano is dealing a little bit more damage than the Trite, and I guarantee you, we'll easily be able to knock this guy out without too much drama. Now, do take into mind our Equus doesn't have a saddle on as well, which also increases the amount of damage, but you can see already, just like that, the Kano is running away from us. Now, as well as this, you can keep pace with them on the Equus, and you can still butt kick them. Boom! Kano is out, and he still has quite a bit of health, you know, you can see there, half health. So the Equus is definitely the way to go if you want a taming mount that you can use to deal torpor damage to other creatures. Alrighty, so taming method number three is using the Karkonos' grab. Now if you guys don't know, the Karkonos has the ability to grab rather large creatures, pretty much anything in its claws. You can see we've got a couple of Stegos here, boom bada boom, there's one Stego. Hold on, hold on a sec, one Stego is not enough. Oh, let's just grab a second Stego. There you go there. Now you can see that you're actually holding both these Stegos. Now the really cool thing about this is while riding the Karkonos, you can actually pull out weapons. See there? Look, we're still on the Karkonos. You can still move with the Karkonos, and we can fire with our crossbow. Now, by doing so, you can also use the same method with a long neck rifle or other torpor-inducing device. But just like that, you can see there we've already knocked out one of these Stegos we were holding, and they're not even aggroing on us, which is absolutely wonderful. The Karkonos is definitely one of the better taming methods. The reason why it's not higher, though, is because the Karkonoses are a little bit difficult to tame, and they're limited to the Aberration map, unless Unless you transfer them. But just like that, you can see there, two Stegos knocked out. Now you can also do this uh, method with uh, a lot of creatures. Trikes, Dodix, Ankies, a lot of creatures are tameable by using this method with the Karkonos. For example, I think there's a Dire Bear we have over here. Here we go. You can see here we'll be able to pick up the Dire Bear as well. 
you know, oh, no, you can't pick up die bears. You can pick up stegos, but you can't pick up die bears. Makes 100% sense. So the Karkonos is a great way. Now, as well as that, if you don't really want to tame them out in the open, well, you can just transport them to where you actually want to knock them out. So if you want to knock them out inside your gates of your base, well, you can just simply jump over your behemoth wars, pick up the creatures, and head back to your base with the creatures in tow, and knock them out in your base. It's great. Now, funnily enough, you can't actually pick up trikes as well, which is weird. So, yeah, you just have to look up the particular dinosaur that you want to tame on the Ark Wiki and determine whether or not the Karkonos can, can, can pick it up if you choose to go with this method. But that is why the Karkonos grab is number three on this list. Now, the second best taming method is one of the easiest and earliest methods you get access to in the game, and that is the ability to bowler a creature. Now, not all creatures are bowlerable, but most... Ah, especially starting in a low level uh, character, you can easily use bowlers to immobilize most of the creatures that you come across in the area, and this allows you to tame them up. You can see here we've got two Iguanodons immobilized, well, let's just knock them out. Now the bowler immobilizes a creature for 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds, there's a brief cooldown time where you can't actually bowler that creature again. I believe it's 10 seconds, but you'll know if you try and bowler it and it sparks off like RNG and stuff, you should see from this uh, 150, unless it gets knocked out. There you go there. But you can see, just like that, the Iguanodon is knocked out. Now, once this one's escaped, we'll show you what the what we mean by the cooldown. You can see there, he's escaped, and there's the spark. We're unable to bowler him, and now a monkey's going to kill him. So, I'm pretty sure the cooldown is a total of 10 seconds. Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a little bit more than 10 seconds. Judging by... There we go. Yeah, so about 15, 10 seconds. You can see there that one was immobilized just before he died. But the bowlers are usable on raptors, iguanodons, parasaurs, a lot of your smaller tiered mounts, you know. I don't think it's usable on dire bears, but there are a handful of creatures that you can use bowlers on that are great for starting off first on arc. And that is why the bowler is number two on this list, because it's easy, it's early to access, and it's really easy to make and bowler creatures. Now, finally, the last taming method that you want to use, the best taming method that you could possibly use, is the introduction of a trap. Now, Rexy, turn around and come face us. Now, you can see we've got a trap set up just over here, but essentially what you need to do is guide the tame that you want to tame up into this trap. If you guys don't know how to make one of these traps, we do have a video on that. Oh, you do have to make sure that you run fast enough, I mean slow enough, for the creature to actually get in the trap. You can see the Rex managed to evade it. But all you need to do is just pretty much run down a straight line and keep their attention. You can see Rex is a very, uh, very distracted easily. But once you get it into the trap, you'll easily be able to keep it there and trank it out because it has nowhere to run. When creature's torpor starts getting high, they tend to flee the area. Or if they can't hit you, they also flee the area. That's not the case with a trap, however. Can we get through the door frame? There we go there, and you can see that the Rex is now trapped in our trap. And you can take your sweet time putting arrows into him, putting whatever the heck you want into him, and as long as you build it out of stone, they won't be able to deal damage to it. However, you can use thatch, you can use wood as well to build a trap. Depending on the level of the creature, normally when I first start out in Ark and I want to tame up a herbivore or something, I build with thatch because I want to start with a low level herbivore, and they're generally not powerful enough to destroy the uh, foundations and everything by the time you knock them out. So it's a great way to go about taming up your first dino, and it is definitely, hands down, the number one best method for taming up a creature. You know, you can see here, this Rex has nowhere to go. He's trapped in here. That's, that's exactly the purpose of the trap. Now, like I said, there are a bunch of other traps that you can use. We've got a video for that. I'll leave the link in the description below. But yeah, look at that. Done, bada, bomb. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You can then leave this guy here, and he'll be protected. If it's a small amount, you can still leave it here. Now, if you're not happy with the door frames, you can also replace that with window frames if you so choose to. I just personally think door frames are easier and nothing really tends to attack anything in a trap. So yeah, guys, that'll conclude today's video. Let me know what you thought of it down below. Let me know if there are any other taming methods you guys use other than the ones I mentioned. But yeah, thanks very much for watching and I hope to catch you in the next one. And I got this soda.